Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. Your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any of our platforms. Please reach out to me directly, email tmasso at thewatchbox.com for pricing. Today, we're talking about a 2021 model that was designed and launched as a European marketplace exclusive, inspired by traditional Japanese architecture and materials. This is the Grand Seiko Elegance Collection, SBGW 269G Yukage, which means shadows. So the watch is beautifully made, traditionally styled, and like all members of the Elegance Collection, inspired by the original 1960 Grand Seiko watch, which is why a lot of the elements are drawn directly from antiquity. And the size, 37.3, is perfect for a vintage-inspired dress watch. Now, it's in stainless steel, bright polished, 37.3 in diameter, 12 millimeters thick, from lug tip to lug tip, 44.3 millimeters with a 19 millimeter spacing between the lugs. And you can see when I throw it on my wrist, it's a beautiful fit. Now I'm gonna try not to pull the strap too tight because it exaggerates the uh, the width of the watch across the wrist. There's no width across the wrist. You could wear this watch on a wrist as small as 13 centimeters circumference for men who prefer traditional sizes and elegance, for ladies who are looking for a redoubtable, non-diamond encrusted, non-quartz powered option that fits. This is definitely that, a unisex watch, but also one that does channel the look of a vintage timepiece back when style was big but sizes were relatively smaller and again over the top the cuff shot easily worn underneath the dress sleeve we have a wonderfully supple calfskin semi-gloss brown monotone stitch relatively thick cut unusual for a grand seiko strap you can see relatively thick cut with a sheer cut profile showing you the layers of leather on the bottom we have black calfskin noted as a brand new strap it is a Grand Seiko factory strap. We have a matching vintage Grand Seiko logo on the buckle. Again, the Elegance Collection historically inspired. And then the case, again, we have strap tool holes on the lugs because that's how it was done in the old days, but also because Grand Seiko, more than a lot of luxury brands today, still anticipates that it's fans and collectors will be actively swapping straps. And a big reason for that is that a lot of people step up from Seiko to Grand Seiko. And in Seiko ownership, strap swapping, especially using the convenience of strap tool holes, is a big part of the culture. You can see we've got that GS logo vintage style on the crown. It is a push down crown. The watch is 30 meters water resistant. The lugs are broken out from the case band. It's all polished. And by the way, the polishing is Grand Seiko's famed tin plate Zoratsu method. Zoratsu just the Japanese name for a European Zalitz machine, but it's not easy to do. It takes three years to learn this art. Well, it's not quite the samurai sword polishing Grand Seiko and Seiko sometimes make it out to be. It is very difficult to master as the surface to be milled has to be manually wielded against the spinning tin plate. It's very easy to deform, melt, damage, or irregularly finish since all of this is done by eye and hand. Again, three years to master, and this case can be considered handcrafted. You will not find comparable finish and handcraft on Swiss watches in this price range. Now, if you look, you can see the bezel is slightly stepped up from the case band, and then it has a conical profile. We have a dramatically boxed and cambered sapphire that's designed to evoke a vintage plexiglass, and you can see that there is a fine texture on the dial. And so the idea here is that this is very similar to the texture of wood floors, sliding doors, walls, washi paper found in Japanese architecture. And so that is the direct inspiration for that texture and the color and of course Yukage the the name of this watch shadows so you can see there's a lot of dial furniture of high quality here the Dauphine hands at center are polished and faceted for better contrast Grand Seiko indices hands logos they're all crafted on diamond tipped milling tools by artisans who specialize in making these parts and that's basically their full-time gig once these parts have been finished like cut gems here to a blinding faceted mirrored shine. They're placed by hand on the dial and then caulked by hand to fix them on the dial. We do have a hacking or stop seconds function. And on the reverse side, we have a watchmaker built, watchmaker regulated, and when the time comes, watchmaker serviced, Grand Seiko caliber 9S64. Manual wind. This watch is a 72 hour power reserve, four hertz beat rate, it pivots on 24 joules. So you've got your three days of power reserve, and then you have adjustment in six positions, which is actually quite exceptional as 
five positions as the standard for chronometers. So six means you can't dump all of the inaccuracy in the one untested position. So that's a sign of integrity right there. Uh, what you can also see here is that the finish is attractive, much like Rolex. It's all mechanically applied, but attractively so. And in a distinctive fashion, you can see the sharp gradient across the stripes, darker on one side. That's rare on mass-produced stripes. You can also see that the ratchet wheel atop the barrel has been dished and mirror polished, which is lovely to see. All screw heads are polished. There's satination on the regulator and a little bit of engine turning and media blast on the base plate with an eccentric screw micrometric regulation system. And then you can see adjacent to that, there is another micro regulator probably used for beat error. Again, three day power reserve and very accurate. You can also see that there's a ghosted Grand Seiko vintage lion logo on the case back. A European model exclusive rare in the States. Reach out to Team Also at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details.